What's going on, KB crew? It's your boy, Craig. And it's your girl, Brittany, and we back again with another one. And this time, we're going to be jumping into some more Billie Eilish. We're going to jump into Billie Eilish and Phineas and doing a variety interview. Talking about writing bad guy. And breaking it down. I think they're in their uh, childhood bedroom as well. So, let's so get into it. So, we can see a little it. bit of that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, we can see a little bit of that. One we'll of those things that, it. like, I don't know. You have to, like, it's like painting, like, pointillism art, which is just, like, dots of paint. Like, I feel like you don't know... You don't see the big picture until you step away from it. Yeah. We're just going to pause in the beginning so that we can acknowledge the drip that but is Phineas. Phineas. I knew you was going to say something. We're going, we're going to acknowledge the drip that I knew is Phineas. It's like the no socks term. and everything. Yeah, it's you just, see I the drip and then he got something. his legs crossed on. I'll be like, yeah, that's drip. Okay. A sophisticated drip. You don't know nothing about that. I mean, <laughs> like, you know that scene in Ferris Bueller where Cameron looks closer and closer at the painting? I love that. Oh, dude. We used to listen to that song in the that car. That song used to make me cry. It's pretty genreless. To be honest, this year has really been like open to stuff that doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. have a genre or have like a specific. Some little ass glasses. They was in style last year. Sound? Well, they probably still in style now. Everything is not a big deal. They used to like wear them down here. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, I guess if you if you if you wear them down there, it makes sense. But like, well, know. I mean, actually, like I had some glasses. They were literally like cut in half, so I didn't even have to hang them down there because they already looked like they hung down there. Yeah, I mean, if that's the way they sit, yeah. then I guess that makes sense. It's yeah. just, I guess it was a weird camera angle or something like that because they looked like they weren't even covering her eyes have like a specific sound there was like a period like two years ago where everything sounded everything the same. sounded exactly the same I mean, this year that top five that we were in for a minute where it was like like bad guy old town road senorita and truth hurts those are pretty different songs like that was a cool pretty diverse a cool top five to be a part of because right. of the diverse, Lizzo, yeah, truth hurts. as long as i hear so we wrote the first Be verse of that song. Every time I would come across a video or a, a recording of me singing that song from like the day we wrote it. Just the first 30 seconds. We would literally hear it and be like, what's this? And then hear it and be like, oh. We were like, we gotta, we gotta finish that. Two weeks ago, I wanna say, we had one day and it had to be like done. Phineas was like, we have to be done by tomorrow. And I was like, there's absolutely no way that that's gonna happen. He was like, we're almost done. And I thought, I was like, shut up. Because yeah. I thought we weren't, but then we were. We were done. Probably shit. Big brother run the whole situation. Mm -hmm. I got you. About to do a photo shoot lit. Oh, they react to their Grammy nomination in this. Oh. Not so much uh, bad guy. That's bad guy. I don't think we ever thought it was going to be huge. I think I sort of started to realize it was a really big song when it was like in parodies on like late night when like James. I don't think Craig ever heard Bad Guy. I haven't, but I yeah, like the little. That's I like Bad the Guy. Bad Guy is probably one of her most like. Yeah, that's um, what they talking about. They talking about being in the top five the mm -hmm. whole year last year. Yeah. Um, I like the I like the. Beat I think it's so a song far. that kind of broke her as an artist. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Corbin was singing it. So you're a tough guy, like a really <laughs> rough guy. Just I was like, oh, this is like having a, like a cultural mm -hmm. moment. It was like a known song as a song. <laughs> when we wrote the song, I was like picturing playing it as like the opener at Coachella. We were like thinking yeah. ahead, like, how should we start uh, this show? And it wasn't, wasn't like, about a what's going to be huge. It was literally like, this is the one that's going to be the most fun to do. Uh -huh. So, come on. It's been pretty surreal to have a song that just explodes. Like, because I've never had that. Mm. It's an honor. It Six is. of them things. Bro, you didn't see the Grammys? I saw I saw the picture that they had where they both were holding hello. Let me awards. tell you, like, this is when I first knew who Billie Eilish was. Like, she got so many Grammys that, like, the first, the, like, the last two, she was kind of annoyed. <laughs> like, because it was, like, back-to-back -back after, like, the last four nominees, it was, like, back-to-back -to, -back to the point that they didn't even get a chance to go back to their seat. 
that they were just still in the back and they were just calling them Billy Eilish. Billy Eilish. They yeah. did um actually uh our subscriber I am Jessica is always telling us to react to um her winning Grammys. Oh well I am Jessica. Let us know down in the comments which link it is that we're supposed to look at so yeah, that we can we'll react it. to it for you. Um and for me because I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited to see how annoyed yeah. she gets because she keeps winning. And it's actually the first time I've seen the Grammys in a long time. Um, Oh, man, that's dope. It's an honor. I grew up watching the Grammys. We all did. I used to judge all the girls' dresses. Ah. That's all I did. I barely paid attention to the music. Very cool to be in the world of being nominated at all. So. Was the meat dress a Grammys event? Yeah. Yikes. The egg was also a Grammy event. Mm -hmm. My favorite egg comment was Justin Bieber. <laughs> he was on Chelsea Handler's show at one point, and he was like, yeah, I know people say it's art, right? But I'm just like, you're in the egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was inside of the egg. Shut up. pretty you know it's pretty quick but yeah. it, was, it was nice little uh indication you know in depth i say indication nice little insight into you know how they wrote it where they wrote it and you know how they didn't expect it to be as big as it was that's definitely something that's a surprise usually you hear artists say yeah i expected this to be a a, a worldwide hit i knew yeah. it was gonna be a banger as soon as i heard it so for her to have that humility is also dope. Yeah, because so. I don't think anybody expected it to really blow up like that. I mean, it was a good song, but it, like, took off. To well, off. you know, yeah. let us know what y'all thought of the video down in the comments. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and if you already have subscribed, turn on the post notification so you can get our next video as soon as it drops. Because we dropping them daily. They don't call us KB Daily for, for nothing. nothing.